We sent out a drum call to Gifford County. We sent out a drum call and all through the water, all across the marsh, all across the land. That drum is sounding. Yeah, you can inside the office. Now that the people come to council, they get in the drum. And when they get in the drum, we represented William McBride, who lived just up the road. He had a drum. And he come here today. But let y'all know what a drum can have done with the people come to us. I have a copy of the proclamation from Beaver County Council that was presented on August of, uh, July 22nd to Queen Quest. This is a copy and I'll read it for you. Proclamation. Whereas the Gullah Geechee people are descendants of enslaved Africans in various ethnic groups of West and Central Africa, and whereas brought to the New World and forced to work on the plantations of coastal South Carolina, Georgia, North Carolina, and Georgia, Gullah Geechee people have retained many aspects of the African heritage due to the geographic barriers of the coastal landscape and the strong sense of place and family of Gullah Geechee community members. And whereas, today, the culture and linguistic umbrella of the Gullah Geechee Culture Heritage Corridor extend from Wilmington, North Carolina, to St. Augustine, Florida. And whereas, people who identify as Gullah or Geechee presents the many ways that Africans in the Americas have retained and fuse the tradition of Africa with cultures they encounter both during and after enslavement. And whereas a series of activities and events to honor the history and legacy of the Gullah Geechee tradition, such as the Gullah Geechee National International Music and Movement Festival, will return to St. Helen Island to commemorate 150 years since the reading of the Emancipation Proclamation 150 years ago. Um, Harriet, uh, Harriet Tubman joined the Union forces of the Kamehameha River raid, which both led to celebration of freedom in Beaufort County. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Beaufort County Council hereby declares July the 27th through August the 4th, 2013, as Dollar Geecher National Appreciation Week, dated this 22nd day of July, 2013. Simon McCall, um, Sigmund, Paul Somerville, um, Chairman, and William L. McBride, Councilman from District 3. Thank you so much. Thank you. After the drum, the done sound down at the Buford County Council. They must have started for being a drum. Now this a man office, he can walk there to their office. So we are Kaiser then, yet he drum. And me and Kaiser take the drum and can't have no side with the children. And the children stop forgetting the drum. And the young say this. Thank you, Queen Quet. Thank you all for being here. <clears throat> May the sun shine on the Gullah Geechee Cup harder as it does today. Forever and ever. As the mayor, I often tell young people that my job as mayor and my city council is to be a bridge between yesterday and tomorrow. And one of the jewels that we need to continue to carry from yesterday till tomorrow is, among other things, the Gullah Geechee culture. Because we cannot have a bright future unless we build on the strong building blocks of our past. And if we don't recognize those building blocks. A couple of weeks ago, I was in Italy which was a lot of fun. I didn't take you. I invited you, but you didn't answer the call. <laughs> she would have welcomed you. But we went to a little town where there was a university that was started in the year 1088. It's the oldest university in the world. And one of the traditions they carried on is right next to the university, there was a pub or a cafe that is operated not missing one day for 700 years. That makes the 150 years we're talking about, or the 300 years of our city of Beaufort, or the many years of Beaufort County and Port Royal and, and, the, and the islands. 
um, minuscule. But it says what people can do if people have the will. So coming to day to day, and there are a lot of people who are missing, and they're missing out for not being part of this. But it's our obligation to carry forth uh, with these cultures, with these traditions, with these building blocks, though they came to us perhaps in an uncivilized manner. They have contributed so greatly to our broad and diverse civilization. So I have today with me Moses Grant. And Moses Grant is going to help me, and he's going to read a proclamation by the city of Beaufort. You ready? Whereas Beaufort County, SC, is the second oldest county in South Carolina, and whereas its founding fathers were brought into what became established as the city of Beaufort in the Port Royal region, and whereas these African people populated the islands of Port Royal region, which have already been occupied by the, by the indigenous people for which many of the sea islands have been named. And whereas the islands of Beaufort County include Port Royal, St. Helena, Ladies Island, Utah, Hawana, Hilton Head Cusaw, Warsaw, and the Hunton Island, and several others. And whereas these African people became known as the Gullah Geechee, and whereas the Sea Islands caused many strong, world-known Gullah Geechees and grow from its soil, including the congressmen. I'm gonna help you. Well, you didn't talk about where, you didn't talk about where the no came from. The Sea Islands caused many strong, and world-known Gullah Geechees to grow from the soil, including the congressman and Gullah statesman Robert Small, heavy boxing great champion of the world, Joe Frazier, and chiefest and chiefest of in head state for the Gullah Geechee Nation, Queen Quet. And whereas Queen Quet became the first Gullah Geechee in the world to speak before the United Nations on behalf of the Gullah Geechees, and whereas she established the Gullah Geechees Sea Island Coalition on the historic St. Helena's Island SC, and whereas St. Helena became a his St. Helena, South Carolina was the launching location of the Gullah Geechee Nation International Music and Movement Festival, which she was founded by Queen Quet, chiefess of the Gullah Geechee Nation, and Kwame Shaw of all local productions. And whereas the Gullah Geechee Nation International Movement Music and Movement Festival moves to various parts of the Gullah Geechee Nation and African diaspora each year to educate educated the world about the to celebrate the continuation of the Gullah Geechee traditions and whereas the Gullah Geechee Nation International Music and Movement Festival will return to St. Helena Island, SC, during the 2013 as part of the commemorating 150 years since the reading of the Emancipation Proclamation and 150 years since Harriet Tubman led the Combahee River Raid, which both led to celebrations of freedom and Beaufort SC, and whereas a series of activities will take place throughout Beaufort County and in the city of Beaufort to honor the history and legacy of the Gullah Geechee Nation and to celebrate the emancipation of the Gullah Geechee Nation week leading up to the festival. Now therefore, the City Council of the City of Beaufort, South Carolina, hereby pro proclaims at July 27th through August 4th, 2013, as the Gullah Geechee Nation Appreciation Week. In witness thereof, I here unto set my hand 
and caused the seal of sit the seal of the city of Buford to be affixed this third August 2013. Billy Billy Kersley, Mayor. Second oldest county in South Carolina, and as following, Africans were brought into the area and came to be known as the Gullah Geechee. And whereas shortly after the fall of the Confederate Fort Walker on Hilton Head Island in November of 1861, some 600 Gullah Geechee descended upon the Union posts established at that location. And whereas the Union Army tried to establish military like camps for the blacks as places on the Bay Point and other islands, which came to be called the Freedom's Home Columns during the Civil War. And whereas Union General Orsby Mitchell in 1862 relied land at Drayton Plantation for a Negro village and encouraged the Gullah Geechee to build their own houses and exhibit their own police and educational system, which town was named in honor of General Mitchell and was thereafter called Mitchellville. And whereas Gullah Geechee continued to build homes throughout the Hilton Head Island, including what is now the Gullah Museum of Hilton Head Island. And the Gullah Geechee culture and tradition is preserved and shared through the Na Native Islands Gullah celebration. And whereas the Gullah Geechee Nation International Music and Movement Festival, co-founded by Queen Quet, chiefess of the Gullah Geechee Nation, and returning its inaugural location, St. Helen Island, during the 2013, as a part of commensurately 150 years since the reading of the Emancipation Proclamation in Buford County, South Carolina. Now, therefore, I, the law, mayor of Town of Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, is hereby proclaimed the week of July 27th to August 4th, 2013, as Gullah Geechee Nation Appreciation Week in Hilton Head Island to honor its history and legacy of the Gullah Geechee Nation and to celebrate emancipation in the Gullah Geechee Nation. In testimony, where I have hereunto and set my hand and caused this seal of the town of Hilton Head Island to be affixed this 27th day of July, 2013. Yeah. I, I had to tell my brother, he would come running up and hit him. Queen, last time I seen you, I've been in Buford. I said, you ain't got to be talking about how long ago it's been since you've seen me. Miss, no pictures, please. Everybody turn off cameras. Everyone should be up here and off the grass while they're putting the, the tent up. We need everyone off the grass and up here, please. Thank you. And so, y'all see how the drum work? The drum beat all across the town of Buford. Beat all through the city of Buford. Beat to the turn, yeah, across the creek. Walk up Mayor Murray in White Holy Bay. <laughs> Mayor, Mayor Murray, get up in Port Royal. That's your morning, Massachusetts. Thank you, Chief. Yeah. One thing about going last. 
fast. What do you say when everybody has said everything? <laughs> so I'm going to try and paraphrase some of my proclamations. Right. It's the same thing. Um, the town of Port Royal, Bella Geechee Nation Appreciation Week, whereas Dubuque County is the second oldest county in South Carolina, and whereas its founding, many Africans were brought into Port Royal, where a mark is standing in honor of their arrival. And whereas these African people populate the island of Port Royal region, which had already been occupied by insidious people for which many of the sea islands have been named. And whereas the African people of the area came to be known as the Gullah Geechee. And whereas the town of Port Royal is on the island of Port Royal. And whereas many Gullah Geechee occupied the sea island cotton plantation he had known as the Smith Plantation. And whereas during the Civil War, this 700 acres became known as Old Fort Plantation and was confiscated by the U.S. federal government, and whereas this then became the encampment of the first South Carolina volunteer unit of the Union forces, which include the Gullah Geechee Nation, Nurse and Scout, Eric Tupman, and Nurse Susan King Taylor. And whereas the encampment at this location came to be known as Camp Saxton, and whereas it is this location where the first reading of the Emancipation Proclamation was read, and at the site of the Emancipation Oak, and whereas we commemorate the 150 years since the first reading on January 1, 2013, Queen Death Chiefness and head of the state of the Gullah Geechee Nation led a shout and the song of freedom at the Emancipation Oak. And it's given two or three paragraphs. <laughs> Whereas a series of activities will take place throughout Dubuque County and in the town of Fort Royal to honor the history and the legacy of Gullah Geechee Nations and to celebrate emancipation, E.D. Gullah Geechee, e. Gullah Geechee. E. Gullah Geechee yeah, Nation. I'm trying. I know you're working on yeah, that. Right. <laughs> The week leading up to the festival, dated third day of August, 2013. Sammy Murray Mayor. Thank you so much. Oh, 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 freedom.